Hello everyone, I'm just doing a quick video to first and foremost and most paramount to represent all the Asian girls out there and especially all the dark skinned Asian girls because this is something I've been wanting to talk about since I've been making videos. This is actually the first video I actually ever wanted to do but I know it's a bit of a sensitive topic and I wasn't very comfortable to talk about it up until now. So. I just wanted to talk about some of my experiences growing up and just about being a dark skinned Asian and now a lot of people may be thinking what is she talking about is that really something that's necessary but I think it is because as I a child growing up from the Asian community and by Asian I am using the UK terminology of Asian which is representative of the Indians, Pakistanis and um, people from Bangladesh and please bear in mind that I, if you're from another country and that is not the reference then I do apologize but I am sticking to the UK reference for this and what it is is that being dark skin in the Asian community is considered a thing of well you're basically considered unattractive if you're dark skin being fair skin even if you've got if you, even if your features are not nice but you've got fair skin, you're considered pretty or beautiful. And girls who are darker skin like myself, we always look down upon. It'd be like, there'll be horrible comments both from school, growing up, and from the Asian community, even from your uncles and aunties. It would always be comments like, uh, why is she so dark? What's wrong with her? Like it's a, it's a, a disease or something. And when you're a teenager and you're growing up and you're having to deal with school, you're having to deal with exams, you're having to deal with uh, hormones, acne, boys, etc. The list goes on. This is just one thing that is just not needed and it's completely unnecessary. But unfortunately, I know that if I've dealt with it, there must be a handful of other girls who are having to either deal with it or have dealt with it. And like I said, it does nothing for your confidence, it does nothing for your self-esteem. Especially when there's so many people constantly in your ear going on about, she's dark and, you know, she's educated, but she's dark. Oh, she's a good girl, but she's dark. She'll make perfect wife, but she's dark. It was always like it was such a, um, a bad thing to be dark skin. And even at school, I went to a predominantly Asian school in well my secondary school or high school and I remember that's when a lot of the comments started from people of my my age group and my friends or friends and it would always be an issue of like I was the darkest Asian girl in the school a lot of the girls and boys were very light skin or they were mid-tone brown but none of them were as dark as me and it was there was always passing remarks, comments, every day. And like I said, it just does nothing for your confidence and it just really makes you feel like you're, there's something wrong with you. You think to yourself, why am I so dark and everyone's so light? And it was never an issue until people started making comments and talking about it. Like, like I said, like it's a disease. That's the only way I can describe it. That's how you were made to feel, that you've got something wrong with you. And again, people would be like, you know, oh, she's a really good girl, but she's dark. Like, like it's like, oh, but be aware, she's dark. She's very dark skin. And I remember one comment one of the aunties made. It was like, apparently, like she can get creams or she can get something to use on her skin to make her look lighter. And luckily for me, my mum is one of the best people in the world and, and my dad, they were both like, you know, why should you let it bother you? But it did bother me because like I said, when if somebody's in your ear every single day for from the age of about 11 up until you're about 18, 19 saying, you're dark, you're dark, you're dark, you're dark, you know, you eventually start to believe that there is something wrong with you. And it was very difficult growing up, but I think with the support of my family, I I overcame it eventually and I learned to accept that you know what I'm dark but I'm a good person it's like you shouldn't really be judged on your appearance in the first place but unfortunately the society that we live in nowadays they judge you solely on your look and obviously it's like 
when I was growing up, nobody <laughs> ever let me forget that I was actually dark skin. And it was like, you know, I know I looked in the mirror this morning, I know what complexion I am. It's like, it's not a big deal. But secretly, it really bugged me. It really broke me as a person. And then as I got older, I learned to embrace my dark skin as a thing of beauty. It's like, now I'm, I'm a confident individual. I've achieved a lot in life. And again, with the support of my family and everything, no one ever makes me feel inferior the way that the community or the way that people in your life do. And I think what makes it even more sad is that these sort of things you deal with when you go to visit the motherland, but you would never think that in a westernised society in which we live, it's something that would be of such importance it was really, I just don't understand it, to be honest, that people who are born and bred in this country, they would still make a big issue about dark skin. It's really unreal. And all I wanted to say to all the ladies out there that if you have gone through something as ridiculous as I have, then give me a thumbs up or a shout or, you know, inbox me or say something because... For a long time, even up until now, I've always felt like maybe I was the only one because I didn't know many dark-skinned Asian girls. I was like the only one pretty much. So if you've been through something similar, either tag a story or leave a comment because it's just, like I said, a sensitive topic. And I just wanted people to know that if you are going through something like this, then you're not alone. And it's not something to be ashamed of. Embrace yourself and the beauty of your your skin you know it's for me I love my skin tone it's like I look healthy <laughs> at least I'm not pasty and that's that that's no offense to anyone out there but you know I've just have to do something to make myself feel better and just it just helps when you grow up and you realize that no it's not something to be ashamed of it's something to be quite happy and confident about so Gail, girls, girls and guys, anyone who's going through something like this, then give me a shout and uh, share your story because I have and it's taken a lot for me to share this because it is a very sensitive topic for me as well as maybe other people out there. And I um, hope you find this video useful and uh, I'll hope to speak to you guys soon. But take care and I'll speak to you soon. I can't speak today. I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.